television city in Hollywood. Good evening, Captain. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of Captain Kangaroo. With the Captain's special guest star, Gene Stapleton. Barbara Mandrell. Starring Cosmo Alexetti and Grumpy Brano. And introducing Kids Rights by the Magic Carpet Band. Good evening, Captain. Sponsored by Jello Brand Pudding. It's made with fresh milk and comes in 12 different flavors. It's been one of America's favorite desserts for over 40 years. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here because we want to wish a happy anniversary to someone very special. Someone we usually think of as talking to young people, but, you know, we as grown-ups value him every bit as much. That's what this is tonight, an adult celebration, a grown-up celebration for Captain Kangaroo. Well, he's going to be here very soon, and we'd like to ask you, all the grown-ups of America, to join some of your friends from television to help celebrate the 25 years of Captain Kangaroo. Imagine an hour a day, five days a week, for 25 years. Too bad men couldn't hold down a steady job. <laughs> Did you see all the telegrams that came for him? I heard he even got one from Mickey Mouse. <laughs> hey, everybody, can I have your attention for just a minute, please? You're not gonna believe what I have here. This is a cassette of a Captain Kangaroo show from 25 years ago. Oh. It's, the, it's the Captain's very first show. Oh. <laughs> My name is, uh, Kangaroo. Yes, Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo. Yeah, I'm the, uh, the keeper here of the, uh, the treasure house. Why do they, why do they call me Kangaroo? Oh, you See? Look at this right here, you see? See the great big pockets I've got? Look at that. Just loaded down. That's why, because i got pockets like a kangaroo. You're here. I wonder. I, I have an idea that that might be a nice celebration for everybody. Maybe you could all help me take a look at things that have happened in the last 25 years. Yeah. 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 Oh, we, we can look at the changes that have taken place, not only in Captain Kangaroo, but the changes in the American family. Oh, there have been a lot there. I'll tell you. <laughs> America, yeah. Would you help me? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you will. If we're going to do that, maybe this is a good time for you to meet a very special person. A very special person? Uh -huh. well, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be delighted to. Oh, it's a beautiful plaque. Oh, it's beautiful. Here, see. Well, I'll read it to you. To David Mann... <laughs> Excuse me, I don't need these to read with. To Doris W. Pruitt, that's me. <laughs> the only known person in the United States of America who has watched every episode of the Captain Kangaroo program. 
her proud record of seeing 7,189 episodes will stand forever. Oh. I can remember when it all began. 25 years ago, mm, it was a regular morning, just like any other. My mother was helping me to dress. <laughs> Let's see if we've remembered everything. Something borrowed. Sister's luggage. Something blue. Sister's garter. Something old. Sister's dress. <laughs> now we need something new. Yeah, I wonder if Sister's got something that she hasn't worn oh, yet. Oh, darling. Mother, if I could have Come something on, new that I could call my own. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, what's that you're watching? <laughs> it's a new TV show. Captain Kangaroo. Oh, oh. I like it. <laughs> Doris, you're having time for that right now. Oh, Mother, you want me to have something new for my wedding, don't you? Well, of course. Well, this is it. Look, watch. Oh, that's marvelous. Well, what about the ceremony? Everybody's waiting. Oh, Mother, my marriage is going to last forever, but this may be the only chance I've got to watch Captain Kangaroo. You know how TV shows come and go. All right, Doris, you leave me no choice. Uh, Reverend, will you come in here, please? Now, the, the drum go right over there, and the bride's made here. And, and the organist, will you please be right here? Now, the family of the groom over here. The family of the groom. Oh, dear. Now, yeah, that's fine. It's lovely. Everything is beautiful. Oh, you all are so beautiful. Oh, oh, dear. Okay, Reverend. You may begin the ceremony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together to join this man and this woman. spend a quarter of a century in one spot and still find out what's been going on with the American family, this would have been a pretty good place. Yes, indeed. When these 25 years began, we were in the age of expansion. Big was best. This woman, for instance, drove to the market in an eight-cylinder beauty. Kind of with the big fins on the back, remember? <laughs> yeah. She'll leave here taking the kids for their polio shots. On the way, she'll fill up her 18-gallon tank, and she'll hand the man a little less than $7. She and her husband wanted a big family, and they're having one. And they feed it with the big sizes of breakfast cereal. And they wash with that great big size of laundry soap. Everything was giant. Super jumbo, extra large family size. I'll just go put these in your car, Mrs. Ferguson. Thank you, Tommy. Here. Oh, that's okay. You tipped me last time. <laughs> she tipped him last time. Can you believe that? That young man went on to become president of a bank. And today, you are tipping him 22%. <laughs> later in the 60s, the markets were changing. <laughs> and so were the people who came into them. More and more men were shopping with their wives. And the merchandise for sale in food stores reflected that fact. Uh, honey, did you remember to get charcoal for the barbecue? No, I was so busy getting a new outfit for Judy's doll, I forgot all about it. Oh, never mind. I'll just run back and get some. Okay. Yeah. Where do they keep it? In the far corner by the phonograph records. Ah. Imagine that. Charcoal and phonograph records in a food store. Well, no wonder retail sales just kept climbing and climbing and climbing. Well, you know, I found it. You know, I could have sworn I recognized some food back there. <laughs> nah, not in a supermarket. <laughs> and if prices started climbing, well, who 
cared? There were plenty of other benefits. You're in luck, ma'am. Today we're giving away a triple stamp. <laughs> oh, honey, now we can make that down payment on the house. <laughs> the house with stamps. And they get their mortgage at 5%. <laughs> a few years after that, some big changes happened to the household unit. In the 70s, there were changes to the things people bought. <laughs> changes in who those people were. As often as not, they were roommates. Shoppers like these girls made convenience foods popular. Frozen bags you drop into boiling water or pop into a microwave or toaster broiler. Frozen breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything from soup to nuts. For a while there, it looked like we might get all the way through the 70s without dirtying one real plate. In the 80s, hard on the heels of the roommate phenomenon, which created a change in a family structure, came this fellow, who brought the biggest change of all, the single person. Nearly a quarter of all Americans today live alone. They may be 20 years old or 80. They may shop at 2 in the afternoon or 2 in the morning. But they're changing the marketplace again. Soup for one, wine for one, little frozen things, frozen pizza for one, little frozen cheesecakes, little frozen pies, and of course, little frozen dinner. Uh, pardon me, do you have anything for frostbite? You want to eat nowadays, you got to pay the price. 89, 89, 89. I sure do love the sound of good food. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? 89, 89. Well, who knows what changes the future will bring to our supermarkets. One thing is for sure, you and I will be passing through these aisles probably doing better at staying within our budgets than staying on our diets. What am I doing? <laughs> For me? No. Anne, didn't you realize that Captain Kangaroo is celebrating 25 years on TV? Really? Well, why didn't somebody tell me I'd have baked the captain a cake? I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> Happy anniversary anyway, Captain. From the both of us. I remember when I was a little baby, and I had my very first bite of Jell-O pudding, you know. Tasted so rich and creamy. Very first words out of my mouth that I ever spoke were, more Jell-O pudding, please. You said that? Mm -hmm. Kids love Jell-O brand pudding, and because you make it with fresh milk, you know it's wholesome. Did she just say something? More Jell-O pudding, please. You said that. Listen. That's See? Happy birthday, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Laura. Oh, chocolate nut cake, my favorite. Oh, you shouldn't have, Sarah. But I'm glad you did. Here, you get the first piece. With homemade topping. No, with Cool Whip. It tastes fresh as homemade. Mmm, you're right. Cool Whip tastes fresh as my mom's homemade topping. That's why I wouldn't use anything else. I guess with age comes wisdom. <laughs> Sweet. Cool Whip non-dairy whip topping, now in the extra large recipe size. Don't scare them. Appreciating nature is a family tradition around here. That's why we eat grape nuts. The goodness of grape nuts comes compliments of nature. It comes from a special blending of nature's wheat and barley to bring out a special kind of taste that's good, nutty. And crunchy. Only grape nuts has it. Post grape nuts cereal with a crunchy good taste. Compliments of nature. Save 
First, but it began to affect my life in little ways. On our honeymoon... Oh, I'd rather not discuss what happened. <laughs> but before my first baby was due, I told that doctor that that baby had to come before 8 in the morning or after 9. Or an hour earlier in the Midwest. And by the time that child was 7, I was a different woman. Mom, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, leaving now. Where are you going? To school. School? But Captain Kangaroo is on. Don't you want to watch with Mom like we always do? Mom, oh, I'm seven years old. School's more important right now. Oh, well, suit yourself. Bye. Bye. But if you ask me, kids don't always know what's best. <laughs> They're so grown up at seven. <laughs> they don't know what grown up is. No, Captain, no! Don't trust Mr. Moose. Don't you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna drop the ping pong balls again. Oh. <laughs> Just when you think there's nothing new under the sun, along comes a group of performers who practically invent a new kind of entertainment. I'd like you to meet some young people who've done just that. They're the Magic Carpet Band. They do a little thing called kids' rights. Every word that they speak, every idea they act out, comes from actual poems and stories written by children. Not a word has been changed. They haven't changed anything. They haven't corrected the punctuation, nor the grammar, not even the spelling. I think you'll enjoy them. Just remember, these are the words written by children and performed by kids' rights. I build a robot right in my garage. And my mom does not know about my robot. My robot is ready. Okay, robot? You do what I say now. I like you, robot. Do you know that? Yes, I do, said the robot. <laughs> I like you, too. <laughs> the end! <laughs> One day, a girl decided to join baseball. But, but no one, one would let her play. play. Once upon a time, about 200 years ago, there was a man. His son. And, and dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> they were going camping in the woods. They were taking their dog along. They packed their stuff and left. They, they were, were nearly there. there. When they got there, 
the, the dag, dag went and got lost. <laughs> <laughs> but he found his way back by footprints. Uh, when, when they got, got home, they were happy. <laughs> Because they had a bunny living in the house. <laughs> they lived happily ever after. forget your first time on stage. Mom said my entrance was dazzling, but when my knee stopped knocking, I enjoyed it. Backstage, the main attraction was Kool-Aid. What better way to celebrate, then or now? Compare it to soda. Including my sugar, Kool-Aid unsweetens about one-third the price, has vitamin C, plus a fruity taste that's a real showstopper. You loved it as a kid, you trust it as a mother. Kool-Aid brand unsweetened soft drink mix. If you take the whiteners out of Final Touch, I won't buy it. We're not taking them out. We're putting improved whiteners in. I like Final Touch the way it is right now. I think it's a good product. Look, one wash was done with Final Touch fabric softener, the other with new improved Final Touch. Which is better? This one is a lot whiter. It's more sparkly. Um, it looks whiter. It's soft, too. And it really is white looking. I'm amazed. For a soft and whiter wash, add the Final Touch. It's improved. I wouldn't have believed it. Picky people pick Peter Pan peanut butter. Picky people pick Peter Pan peanut butter. It's a peanut butter. Picky people pick. Picky Peter Pan butter. Picky people pick Peter Pan peanut butter. Picky pe people picky. <laughs> In a survey, people with a preference preferred Peter Pan over Jif or Skippy. They thought Peter Pan tasted more like fresh roasted peanuts. Picky people pick Peter Pan peanut butter. Picky peanut butter penny. Picky people pick Peter Pan peanut butter. It's a peanut butter. Picky people pick. I can't say it. Captain Kangaroo will be back in a moment with Gene Stapleton, Barbara Mandrell, and Mike Farrell. Monday on WKRP in Cincinnati, Dr. Johnny Fever is looking for love. There's been some mistake. Who will become Mrs. Fever? Then wild fantasies make hilarious comedy. Mark the plane, the plane, Mark, Mark the plane, the plane. On the Tim Conway Show, starring Harvey Corbin. It all happens Monday night. Major decisions affecting you continue to come from the Reagan team's vacation headquarters in California. Leslie Stahl covers them on the CBS Evening News Monday. This is CBS.
Attention shoppers, the sale you've been waiting for is on, now through Monday only, at Fretter Appliance. So no matter what you're doing, drop it and get to Fretter Fast to save on a 19-inch Magnavox Color Portable TV, just $297, but only for four days at Fretter. With so many items priced so low, drop everything and go to save on a Pioneer Belt Drive Turntable System, just $69, save $26, but only for four days at the Drop Everything Sale, now through Monday, only at Fretter Appliance. When prices drop this low, drop everything and get to Fretter. Kidnapping charges filed in the Cora Galvin case. Details at 11. It's a pleasure to welcome a new friend to this anniversary celebration tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Mandrell. <laughs> Barbara, I'm so, so happy to welcome you to the show. You know, Catherine, it's, it's interesting to think about all the changes during the years that your show has been on the air. And I was remembering the dolls that I had as a little girl, you know, comparing them with the different dolls that the children have today. Oh, yes. You know, fashions come and go. But the dolls of the last 25 years have a story of their own. May I help tell that story? May you? You certainly may. Thank you, Captain. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our retrospective collection of American dolls and their fashions. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to, that's right, it's Barbie and Ken. Under their wardrobes, which could cost more than the national budget of many emerging nations, you'll find that both Barbie and Ken have the proportions of the ideal 1955 teenagers. Aren't they a lucky couple? For all of us who enjoy the morbid, here is Sally Sickness. You'll notice that Sally is wearing arm and leg cast, glasses, bandages, and comes with her own tiny crutch. <laughs> Continuing our medical motif, here is Visible Woman, a product of that wonderful year, 1959. What child doesn't enjoy seeing veins, arteries, and the entire nervous system in his and or her playthings? <laughs> Here now, Baby Love a Bubble shows us her natural hairdo and authentic features. And this little miss is enjoying a delicious snack. Modeling can make a girl very thirsty. She's as moral as she is huggable. May we present Patty Prince. <laughs> of science fiction. Here's Robot Rodney. It's hard to imagine cuddling up to him at night, but there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> now it's guest star time, so let's have a nice round of applause for the Incredible Hulk. O.J. Simpson. for our next meeting when the subject will be this, the Captain Kangaroo Doll. You wind it up and it goes for 25 years. Yes, every morning. I live for that hour every morning. Nothing else seemed to matter. Mm. The years went by in a blur of chickies and bunnies and puppies. Oh, and then, of course, my beloved Mr. Green Jeans. <laughs> and before I knew it, my little boy had turned into a man. Mom? Mom? Shh. 
Mom, I'm leaving now. That's nice. Where are you going? I'm going to college, Mom. College? Already? Oh, but Captain Kangaroo is on. Sit down and watch it with Mom like we used to. Mom, I'm 18 years old. I want to learn about the world now. Oh, what world? The real world. The real world? What about the world of ping-pong balls? Does that mean anything to you anymore? Oh.